Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you some of the single track for round 3 2015 Chain Reaction Cycles Cross Country NPS um, I'm on a 29er today, so we'll see if this trail is 29er friendly Okay, off we go The trail was built around 2008, designed by Robin Seymour and built by Robin as well. So you'll find a lot of off camber and bench cut sections, Robin's favourite, and also very fun to ride technical single track. This place, this place hasn't been used for uh, a good while now. The last race that was running here was an epic MTB NPS two years ago. A lot of nice timber sections, a bit overgrown, but I think it adds to it, it's uh, it looks more natural this way. It's a lovely day today for a spin. The weather is starting to pick up a bit. Now, if you're hungry in this section, you can stop and fish for some trout. There is a fish pond here on your left. My favorite sections a short sharp climb or more like a sprint into a te technical single track section with some lovely berms on it we'll get to it in a second okay here we go so fun Woo Too happy there. There we go, more technical single track here. Very fast section. Anybody who raced uh, two years ago will remember this. <laughs> Tricky. And this 
one too. So here we are. I, I skipped a section which had a few fallen trees down. Um, but now we are in probably one of the best, if not the best, single track um, switchback climb ever built for an NPS. It's absolutely amazing. It's like something from a World Cup. It's, uh, it's not easy by any means, but it's kind of enjoyable in a weird way. It keeps you interested all the way up. And it's on the ground of the Glendalock House estate, which is kind of well known for the equestrian centre they have here. And all other activities, it's, it's an absolutely stunning place. So if you're thinking of bringing your family here for the event, definitely do so. There'll be plenty of them to do for them to do. Well, too busy talking. Need to focus more. I just wanted to show you the views from here. So there we go. This is the uh, single track climb. Goes all the way to the top and to your right. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? There is a log dam over there. Some beautiful mountains here and uh, countryside. Definitely worth coming here and having a look if you haven't been here before. I have to say, for all, all the hard effort you will be making climbing up here, you will certainly be rewarded with this absolutely amazing single track. Fast, flowy, what else can you ask for? This will awaken the enduro rider within you. Plenty of overtaking lines here if you need them. Some North Shore. And the views to your left, look. Amazing. Horses, that's the story. Yeah, whoops, need some repair. Again, this is enjoyable on any bike. I'm riding a hard time now and having loads of fun on it. Probably a bit quicker on the forces, but as always, it's a trade off in cross country racing, so you have to make your mind and choose on your own what do you want to use. Of course, if you're spoiled for choice, Watch the drink. That won't be here. Don't worry about it.
rock drop. And this is amazing. Could be scary if you had fear of heights. Oh, don't look down. <laughs> Look at this, Robin Seymour decided to build us a little mini Vancouver. If you haven't ridden stuff like this before, this is your only chance in the NPS. And sure, it is a lot of fun. To be honest, it's all fun. As much as I like North Shore, you can't beat the natural stuff. Look at this. Yoo-hoo! Off camber. Absolutely amazing. And the splashy, splashy water slide section. Not for the faint hearted, but it's brilliant, isn't it? And back into the start finish. So just a reminder, it's the 7th of June this year. Chain Reaction Cycles Irish Cross Country NPS powered by Vitus Bikes and hosted by Epic Mountain Bike Club um, Expert Cycles at Farnham. There it is, there you go. Expert Cycles. And a cafe over there. Lovely place. Lovely place. Looking forward to it. So there you go. See you there.